box of stuff. So today, all of this has to go in there in the space of just two hours. Yay. So to start off with, what have we got? Well, we have got new Corsair red LED fans because the red LED fans that are in here are super loud and super ineffective, so we're replacing those. We are adding in a section of dust filtery mediums to each of the fans to stop all of the dust. We have a new USB slot thing that's going in the back. Why did I buy this one? Mainly because it's got this 20 pin port on the front, which is good because it means I can finally plug in that USB port that doesn't work on my SD card reader. And then we also have the most difficult thing to install, a USB dongle, mainly so that I can connect my Switch Joy-Cons up as controllers to my computer, but this will give me many, many uses. Uh, I went for a USB dongly version as opposed to one of these card versions that go in because I think the card Bluetooth versions are pointless because they take up so much space for what a tiny dongle does. So the tiny dongle will do me just fine. So let's start getting it in there. Now whoever's put these fans in here has done a very good job of it because they've cable managed it to the point where the cables are all the way back there and I can't get at them so I might have to take out a lot of this gubbins. Damn. Yeah, see these are all really well cable tied in down there. That fan's probably gonna have to come out. Right, we need to get a pair of scissors in, cut those cables. Well, not the cables, the cable ties. Cables are bad to cut. This is very saddening because it took me so long to get these cable ties in and now they're all just being cut one by one. Right, first one's out. Fan number one. Stupidly, I've remembered this fan disappears down the back. So I'm now going to have to flip it over somehow and get the back open. Oops. At the time of organising these wires, I thought they were all clean and tidy. They are not. They are not easy to understand. I found it and it's out. But I now have to unsniff all of my lovely cable tying. <laughs> oh, I can't even do it. Wow, I really can't even do it. Eh. Oh, this is saddening. It's all right, that black cable tie is going to hold it all in. And the bottom one. I don't even know if that was on camera. Who knows? Who knows? And last fan coming out. And thread that through there. Nice. So I'm going to leave that one there. Uh, and at some point, this whole front panel, when I upgrade, will be replaced with a radiator. So for now, that one can stay there because it never gets seen anyway. New fans. They look super cool. Not only do they look cooler and operate cooler, these are actually super helpful because on the side, it says which way up you should have them and also which way the air flows through them. That is super helpful. So this back panel's got fans going on first. It's gonna go that way and the air is gonna push out of the case. I've actually decided before I put the, uh, the fan in, my next job is to try and thread these cable ties through these holes here so that I can, when I put them in, I can tie the screws back up or tighten the cables up because this actually was the best place to have the cable that I found. However, this is a very challenging job, so I'm not going to film it. All right, I don't know if you can see that, the cable ties are in. They are most likely to come out by the end of this because they are a fiddly pain. I've had to remove the CPU power cable for now. So I'm actually gonna start at this end and work my way along. So we're now putting this fan in. Decided to change what side I was going on again. And that one's all cable tied in. And I tell you now, this is the last time that I'm ever filming computer things because this is stressful. 
And that's fan two on. And now all three fans are on. CPU fan is now plugged back in. And now with a fiddly bit of wire management, that is those two fans plugged in. Now to get the last one in. Right, now let's get this in. It's gonna go in there. Get out. Get out. Curse these inbuilt panels. So somehow between the other day, opening this packet, and now I have lost one of these tiny screws that goes in there. So for now, because this is one unit, we're gonna cheat and we'll put that one in there. And then hopefully it'll turn up at some point and I can put it in. Plates in. Now that cable needs to go in the back there. Bye bye cable. Whoa. Or not. Get, get, get. I've lost it. Get. Get down. Get down the hole. Go. Get. 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 Ah. One USB cable nicely mounted. I said it was nicely mounted. Don't look at that. And the only phrase you will ever need to know for making computers, out of sight, out of mind. And on goes the window. And now for the hardest part of today's endeavor. I did it. Now we just have to turn it on and see if it works. But I've got to go to work, so we'll do that this evening. Right, will she turn on? Things are spinning. You probably can't see that, but there are three fans spinning. That's good, they all power on. And also, they light up from the centre, which is so much cooler. Well, not only did the fan spin, we have a device labelled dongle, which is good. So, that's working. And we now have Bluetooth accessibility down the bottom. So the USB 3 card is clearly working. And the dongle works because it's plugged in as well. Nice. I'm now going to use this old hard drive to see if that front USB 3 port works. Dun, 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 dun. dun. <gasps> it pinged. There's a problem with my device. Oh, well, at least it, rec it sees it. Yes, it works. I now have an extra USB port on the front. This has been a successful upgrade. Love this computer.